Alright, this run has some fun with Pteranodon, Hedgehog, and Flea. The idea, of course, being the Flea will apply weakness to the opponent's team, and the Hedgehog will just absolutely wipe them out, and the Pteranodon is going to just double activate both those abilities. And you can start to really stockpile things when you add in, like, 1-ups and Tigers or more Pteranodons. It just ends up being a pretty nasty team. It does have its weaknesses, mostly like any snipers, any weakness applying to my team, any summons on the opponent's team. It, I mean, there's a whole bunch of things that it actually loses to. But if they just have stats and they're hoping that like their lemon is going to save them, it doesn't because the flea is pretty solid in customs. So yeah, but uh, the teams that I've been facing have been absolutely brutal recently in arena i'm not sure if it's just me but the matchmaking has gotten so much harder recently my win rate in arena for just like standard pack used to be a solid 80 percent and now it is just plummeted down to like 50 percent or something because the teams that i'm running into have like 15 15 blowfishes turn five and it's just like what are you doing <laughs> i don't understand it's crazy and uh hard to beat for sure but uh, yeah, so the start, I was just going for the Hedgehog, so there's a whole bunch of runs where I was hard rolling for a Hedgehog and just never found it, but a Possum is pretty good to just like buff the Hedgehog since it is faint ability. And I guess if I wanted to, I could go like Cockatoo scaling later on, but really I just have to survive until I unlock those tier sixes of Pteranodon and Tiger, and also that's when you unlock 1-ups of course, but in the meantime, I'll probably go with like Hedgehog Blowfish and then try to put a Flea in there. And then maybe just freeze this chocolate cake for the flea. So go ahead and sell the ants. I actually don't really care too much about leveling you up. Capybara is still a really amazing unit. So I'll just be taking that so I don't die. And then another pug sounds all right. Um, I could combine them, get like level two hedgehog. But I guess just separate would probably be better here. Assuming that they don't get like mosquito sniped or anything. Which does happen pretty frequently. And actually lose that round. So that's a bit unfortunate. But um... Yeah, so I don't know what the devs actually did with the matchmaking. I would love to know, though, because if they did actually, like, secretly change some things, which I have a suspicion that they did, because I also, I watched Witwix. I don't know how many people know about Witwix, but he uh, is a streamer, and he used to stream, like, speedruns of I Want to Be the Boshi, but now he just does, like, variety, but he randomly played Sap for the first time, and I kind of watched him for a little bit, and... It was really interesting to see the teams that he was going against because they were so much weaker than you ever would have imagined. If you just start up the game on like a brand new account, I do think that you face a lot weaker teams and it is so noticeable because he won a game with like level one elephant, level one camel, and then like a hippo. And like that team usually does not work, especially if they're both level one. And uh, But if he just kept running into teams that had like almost no scaling, I guess it works out pretty well, but... Um, in the me meantime, I'm going with Pug Deer, just an absolutely really solid tempo option. Getting a 10-10 bust with Splash Attack is pretty devastating for most teams, so highly recommend. And now I'm just going to be saving for Tier 6s, and uh, I guess in the meantime, just probably buy some food. Why not take an apple, maybe? Or a fried shrimp, although I don't want to get, like, one shot through melon, but, I mean, it's probably still worth it. It's overall... It's the same amount of stats, I guess, because plus three minus one is still two stats. It just depends on what you want, I guess. But Mosquito, I mean, yeah, running into just so many crazy teams. Like, there's a lot more Mosquitoes. There's a lot more just tempo teams. Like, the mid-game has become way harder. I would uh, be very interested to see what exactly has been going on. And if there's, like, some sort of hidden ELO matchmaking system, I would like to know... Um, how it works and everything. Maybe some people already know. It would be good to know. But now I can go Pug Stego as long as the Pug has higher attack and get a whole bunch of stats from this. So really just even more tempo and a 23-21 deer. The sea Was that Tiger Seahorse? What the heck? Oh, I didn't even match it in the backgrounds. But yeah, look how colorful the background is. The underwater, underwater one looks absolutely amazing, doesn't it? It's so like detailed. It's got a whole bunch of different layers to the background. Looks really good, I think. One of my new favorites. Although there's so many good ones from the new update that I'll probably be cycling through a lot of them. And then the new hats. I'm not a huge fan of the new masks, which um, are pretty much hats, but they go on the face of the pet instead of the head. And a lot of times the faces are in weird spots, so like their hats are going to be like pointing skyward or downward. Or I should say their masks, and it looks kind of awkward, and also just covers up the facial expression of the pet, which is usually nice to look at, because a lot of them are just, like, really happy. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. So I'm not a fan of the masks, but 
I guess it's cool that they're trying things or new things, and I'm always down for news cosmetics. Honestly, the backgrounds were perhaps the most exciting part of the whole update, because I already knew everything else was coming, but I did not know about the new backgrounds. And hopefully, they will continue to patch uh, hard mode, because it, it is very unbalanced, it feels like, and it's also just extremely difficult. So if my win rate plummeted just on normal games, like, playing hard mode now is absolutely brutal. Like, it's just crazy. My win rate is very, very low, like, embarrassingly low, and it's going to take so long to get all the ribbons, because the ribbons, really, the challenge of the ribbons now is just winning on hard mode, because level 2 pets are usually very easy to get, so... Like, I don't know, it's it's a different challenge than actually getting the ribbons, because normally getting level 3 pets isn't really worth it, especially if it's like level 3 oyster or something, getting that ribbon is very strange, but going for like a level 2 is pretty easy for the most part, especially since you can just like slot it in and then probably get it to level 2 pretty quickly. Can't really do the same with level 3s. Whole bunch of things to freeze here, so... I could go ahead and buy sell these oysters for free gold. I guess buy sell the cow because I do need the HP pretty drastically. Because even with lemon, they're still going to do two damage a snipe. And as you can see, there's a lot of snipes and I just die. And their team does not die. So that is a problem because they need to die and I need to live. That needs to be how the game works. But chicken leg, that'll solve that problem. And now I can combine, because right now the Pteranodon, all it's doing is double activating the flea. So I probably should have combined there, but also, there's not really a point in going for level 3 Pteranodon at the moment. But eventually, if I do happen to find a 1-up for this uh, Hedgehog, it will do something. So I guess that would be somewhat helpful. And then I can go ahead and use the Cow and Oysters. So I kind of regret what I did there, but go ahead and get the Summon Team, which is perfect, because this team will get absolutely blown out. But the spawns, but luckily the Sabertooth is weird. And even though it gets hurt and everything else dies, it cannot spawn everything until it is the only pet on the team or there's an empty slot or whatever. Um, another lemon, that would be great. But I need to make sure that... I don't know how much damage everything is doing right now, but the tiger plus the hedgehog, I guess the tiger's only making it do one damage to my team. So that's actually pretty helpful. But a lot of triggers and just clearing through people's teams. It is surprisingly effective at just taking down a 50-50. Because, like, every snipe, I mean... How many snipes am I getting? I'm getting the Hedgehog, I'm getting the Tiger, and I'm getting the Pteranodon, so I'm getting 3, and uh, 9 damage, 18 damage, and then uh, like five, 7 more damage. So, I mean, that actually doesn't sound like that much. I, I can't really tell. Like, the Fly, it, it double activates twice, right? I It's so confusing. Or maybe, like, the Flea actually doesn't double activate. I can't really tell what's going on. It's too confusing. But it's cool to see that it works. I mean, it really does just destroy absolute, like, yeah, it's so chaotic. Just rocks flying everywhere. And, okay, so the team, double level three, it's pretty stacked out, or filled out. There's a nurse shark, which could be a problem. But I kill, nope, that's definitely a problem. All right, it just wiped out my team, so can't run into nurse shark teams. That will just destroy me. Hopefully these chicken legs will fix the problem of things dying. And then there's the 1-up. This is a huge, huge power spike. Because now I get an additional... I mean, I get the uh, double activate from Tiger, right? So I get two more uh, nine damage units. And here, four lobsters and a squirrel, or a skunk. What a strange team. And it just ends up being a massive draw. So many 50-50s. That was like the marquee round. That was really beautiful to see. But as you can see as well, everything on my team died. So 14 HP with the lemon is not enough. I'm going to need a bit more. And I'm just rolling for this Pteranodon level up. There it is. It is turn 18 though. So like I need to get pretty lucky to not run into like leopards or any bats or whatever. And I run into a Wildebeest Cobra team. That is going to be a real problem because it gets to actually activate some snipes and does not get weakened and it's just gonna take me out. I tried a lot to get to 10 wins with this team and unfortunately I could just never do it. Like I always ran into really broken teams in the end game because like it just, that's what happens nowadays. But yeah, um, and just a random bonus clip from another run, double one up hedgehog, which was pretty sweet. And you can see it just kind of destroys things. And that wasn't even like the full power because I could have gotten a level two Pteranodon, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.